welcome back to my channel guys today i'll be working on a 2004 to 2012 freightliner m2 so if you have a 2004 freightliner or a 2012 m2 not the business but m2 this video is for you so today we're having a problem the harness um the harness is getting burnt so when you turn the high beam on there's no high beam and it burned the harness right so it's a one shot mechanism for the freight liner so today we we'll go ahead and we change i'll show you we we'll go ahead and we change the headlights completely because it's burned and we also have a problem we have no as you can see guys we have no um we have no marker light and we also have no high beam light so the harness here is totally gone so if you have a freight liner m2 04 to 012 this is a main issue with the freight liner okay so we go ahead and we change the headlights. We're gonna be changing this marker light here. If you can see this marker light here, we're gonna have to change it because we're having the same problem as well. So, we're gonna change the bulbs. We're gonna change the harness, okay? So, stay tuned guys. When I'm doing the harness, I will let you know, okay? All right. Yeah, so guys, I'm going to start now by removing this, this kind of light here. Remember guys, this is my way, you have to learn to do it your way, okay? So I'm removing this corner light, we're gonna install some new corner lights, just for fresh look. We're changing the harness, we might as well change the rest So these are 10, deep 10. So they have the short 10 socket. This is the deep 10. So remember, you need the deep 10. If you use the short 10 there, it's gonna break it, okay? So you gotta use the deep 10. That's the deep 10, that's how the deep 10 looks like. Okay. And then this one here, it has a small flight clip at the back. You won't see it, it's at the back. So you feel for it, press down and release, okay? So this is a clip, that's a clip. So we move the clip, voila, the lights are out, okay? That's one part of the job. Okay, and this is the harness. We're gonna get rid of all of these things here, okay? All right. LED. Okay guys, so this is the this is the new lights. So this is the old one and then this is the new one that we're putting. So this one here is Alagon. This one here is LED. So this is the new one. Okay? Alright. So 
We're gonna use the same bolts because there's nothing wrong with them. So we'll be using the same bolts, same washer, same everything. But guys, as I said before, the reason why the, the clip was on the opposite side is actually, no, you know, it's not like that. Actually, these are left and right. The one that I put on right now, I'm gonna switch it around to see something. Yeah, I couldn't work. I couldn't work on the sea. I would have no gloves left. Okay. Basically, it's a left and a right. So. Okay guys, so we're finished this this side of the harness here. Finish that side of the harness. What I do was still cool, still no wind. Okay, so we finish that side of the harness. So now I'm on to stage two of the wiring harness. I'm checking the diagram. I'm checking everything. See so this one here, as you can look inside of it, it's all burnt out. So this one comes as a full complete set. So I'm gonna take this one off and then I'm gonna merrick it and try to get rid of this one as well. Get rid of this one as well. Okay. So I'm gonna do all of that right now. Okay. Okay guys, so I'm now sorry. I am having a problem. I'm not having no no um no 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 i'm not having no um no tail light or park light so i have to go ahead and cut the harness so this is the harness right here i have to go ahead and and remove it all right as you can see my gloves in there i have to go ahead and remove it so i'm going to replace it with a new one from the dealer okay so you can get it from any premier truck center so this is the new one that i'm gonna use because unfortunately i don't know what's going on with this one it's not working okay so when i connect there you go yes guys welcome back to the channel as i'm here today man the truck was so dirty so i couldn't continue on with the job so i have to call the, the wash guy to come and wash the truck man because it was so dirty you know i can't work on 
I cannot work on dirty truck. So I have to clean it up. You know what I mean? Rule number one, you cannot do a you can't expect to do a good job if you are work on dirty things. You can't work on dirty things, so you have to wash it. So, as you can see the job, the job is not complete because you see, you see right there, the line them not put in, the engine was dirty, the harness them was dirty, and the thing was dirty. So, you get the job, you get the job done. USA, Ohio, where I got tonight. We'll be leaving here in a bit. Clean up the truck. See? This is the new light that I just put in. This is clean. And this is the clean. I'm pretty. Over and out. Okay, guys. So I'm at the end of the video. So you see that there, um, it's still not connected and I have to rewire everything. And so this is, these are the lights that I take off. I have to rewire the whole truck. So basically this is the new headlight and this is the new wiring that I just did. And I have to literally go inside, take the computer apart, go through it, stuff like that, try to find the brake module and stuff like that. And I rewire it here. I have a, a junction here that to control the signal there and cut out. And those are the wires that I just run. And this is the new headlight wire, new headlight. Yeah, so that's the new headlight. 
this is the new light that I that I install it's a new light that I install and then this is the headlight here and the ground that I remove and that's the wires here that I ran to get circuit and power so unfortunately guys time ran out on me and the truck gotta go and I have to run wires so basically this is that light there that you're looking at it's a part of my creation so I just add on these lights it's part of my creation I MacGyver it right now so basically we don't have any lights in there because the circuit is burnt so we don't have any like tail light or park light but what I did I run the tail light onto that circuit there to that to that light and the same thing over here because the truck gotta go to New York tonight and we can't wait to get the light to fix it so I do it temporarily so whenever we change lane that light is gonna come on to the slow down the person behind over here it's gonna do the same thing to slow down the person behind and then the, there's there will be no lights in there but when you hold the brakes and the indicator the light will come on but when you come off the brakes it will go dead so these are gonna be our new light okay okay guys so those are functioning functional LED so I put that on to give the truck that look to go so we won't have a problem but those bottom lights are dead okay so that's how it is now you know let go let go the brakes again yeah so that's I look good there okay so now you see you get a vision of what I am doing so that's part of my creation remember do it your way this is my way so guys please like share subscribe and leave a comment please tell me how I'm doing and tell a friend to tell a friend and hit the notification bell so whenever I post you will be the first to know all right Nikki Lewis Big up yourself again, Diatis subscriber to all of my subscribers as well. And if you're ever in Toronto and you need a moving, a moving truck, call GTA Moving Guys 647 758 So that's GTA Moving Guys. And once again, check out Evoke Squad for all your dirt bikes and all your atv so whenever you need your atv or dirt by fix check out evoke squad there on youtube okay all right thanks